Hey everyone, welcome back to another daily recap. Um, first of all, I just want to say these videos are not backed by MIC. I'm just a member, um, but I really recommend you check them out because MIC is the best community out there. Getting right into it, um, I, first of all, the market is very weird. Uh, it just doesn't seem normal. Of course, I've only been trading in the listed market for three months, so I guess I don't know much of what normal is. But a lot of the mods are also saying it that the, the market is very weird and we're kind of like um, longs and shorts are, are in control. It's kind of like both uh, and it's really unpredictable uh, and a lot of setups are not working. Uh, and one of the setups I played today are, I mean this is a death candle setup. It's not really a huge death candle um, but it is like a confirmation candle and so I'll go over this trade with you guys. So we have MVST which... Uh, you know, this is the chart, this is pre-market, and then market open. We have a huge bleed, come up, test view up. Actually, I almost traded this, which would have been amazing, but I didn't. I don't know why. I, I guess I hesitated and I didn't trade it, uh, but it would have been great. Now, coming in later, we are above view up. We're kind of bouncing off of it, kind of making some lower highs. Um, and then we get this kind of a... I'm gonna call it a death candle, but it's not really, a, I mean, it's not the best death candle, it's not very big, um, but I do like the volume on it, and I think this was caused by a lot of hard stops getting triggered at 12, and 12 is a really, really key line, so I really like that, um, and then bam, uh, we I, I start shorting the bounce right away, uh, scaling all the way to 12, and I actually have my start hard stop at 1220, and so I almost got stopped out right here, it was one cent away. My uh, friend Sam got stopped out at 12.1, which in hindsight was better stop than me. But I actually really like my hard stop. Um, first of all, it reacted to the 12.20 line really well, uh, rejected it. And also, I feel like 12, I feel like um, comparing this trade to my last trade on DD, my stop was where 12.10 would have been and I got stopped out. But let's just say this was 12.20, this would have worked. And so I kind of remembered that, and so I didn't. I put it at 12:20, which technically worked pretty well. It didn't. It didn't get stopped out right there. Um, but you know, it reclaimed view up, and it it ran. Now I had this trend line drawn right here, and when we broke out, it it ran. Um, which I really like that hard stop first of all. Uh, but my plan was to scale in uh, to the bounce to view up, and then cover one, cover one, cover one. So. Um, Cover 50% here, cover 30% uh, here, and 20% here. So that, those were my scaling out plans. Um, as you can see, hindsight, amazing stop. <laughs> um, reasons it failed. I think the reasons it failed were if you draw a huge line over 12, you can see below 12, like mainly in this area. As you can see, a lot of the volume is in this area. And so a lot of people are still in control down here. And a lot of people's hard stops were probably like way down here. Um, but a lot of people, I, th I thought that, you know, there's a good amount of people trapped above 12. We triggered some hard stops. I thought that we could get enough selling pressure over 12 to where it would work out. Uh, but it didn't. And it also it was zombie hour, so 10.30. Um, you know, that's pretty much the exact bottom. And then we go up from there. Um, MIC teaches about the zombie rule. Um, but death candles are an exception, I think, in a lot of cases, and we're below view up, and so I thought this would be fine. Uh, I guess not. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys either know why or know maybe a reason why this failed. Um, I'm really struggling with death candle setups, as you can see with DD and MVST and a lot of other setups. They're just not doing good. And maybe that's because it's not a real death candle, maybe. Um, but other than that... A lot of things were moving in the market today, like BTBT, um, FLGC, MVST, KXIN, uh, BYSI, uh, OCGN. See, I just named off an entire list of runners, and they were all kind of running at the same time, which shows you like there's a lot of volume. Uh, eventually, all this volume is going to go to one place, and it's going to go to the moon. Alright, so we gotta be careful if you're short. Um, you gotta be really careful. Have your hard stops in. As you can see, like learn from my from my trade. Like look at this stop. I think that's a really good stop. Um, we went crazy after that. that. That's why if you have to be using hard stops. If you are not, you are at huge risk. 
Um, and even more so, you need to have a daily max loss. Um, Sam, my friend, was telling me about someone he was talking to that said, oh, I don't need hard stops, I don't need max daily losses because I'm very disciplined. Okay, well, I'm very, very disciplined as well. Um, but hard stops, first of all, if a, can if a, if a stock life candles um, up a dollar, you're gonna get hard, the hard stop's gonna save you. You're, you're not gonna be able to react that fast. And in terms of the max daily loss, I was talking to a couple of friends and they were saying, um, man, when you're down, when you're close to that max daily loss level, your mental state just gets so messed up. Even if you're the most disciplined person, you will break all rules, you'll go crazy. That's why you need to have a max daily loss. So if you don't have those two things, do them right now, I'm saving you a lot of money. Um, and thanks to MIC for teaching me these things because coming from OTC markets, we didn't use hard stops, we didn't use max daily loss just because the market makers, blah, blah, blah. Um, but oh my gosh. <sighs> this is tempting. No, I can't. It, see, look, uh, originally I liked it when it was down here, but it closed up here and I don't like that because as you can see, death candle, it came back up to view up. Now it's really close. I feel like it's too easily, it, it, it can reclaim really easily. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna trade this. <sighs> yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I think there were some really good lessons and uh, my trade, I mean, I'm just gonna keep trading. Eventually the market will, uh, I'm just gonna keep, like these charts are really good. Like my stops are good, my, my entries are good. I probably could have had another bull at 12.07 or 12.17 to get my average up to my uh, risk level, which is how you maximize risk reward. But that's one thing I could have improved on. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm risking $10 a trade, seriously. I'm just going to keep risking $10 a trade until the market actually starts um, giving me money. <laughs> until Because the, these setups are, are good. They're, they're good setups. In a lot of markets, they're, they're going to work. Um, I don't know about this one, actually, because maybe maybe the reasons were not the market's fault. But I think a lot of time these setups will work, especially like DD. Like, this one looks really good. But anyways... Um, once the market starts uh, getting more into the shorts favor and things become a lot more easier, uh, that's when I'll size up. Um, I'm gonna keep my $10 risk because I lost on this trade. I lost like 14 bucks. Um, I'm not emotional at all about it. I'm gonna go to work later and make 30, $40. And I mean, I don't have any expenses. So all my money is going towards uh, the market, which is my teacher and MIC. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications because I upload these daily recaps every single day. And if you haven't already, actually, I would suggest watching my older daily recaps. Like, just go from present to when I started. They're all really good. And I started just, like, last month. And so I'm uploading every day. That's a lot of videos every month. Um, so yeah, I think they're really valuable. If, I think if you watch all of them, you'll, you'll, you'll learn a lot of, a lot of stuff. Because my struggles are a lot of common struggles that members in MIC have. So I really hope I can help. So with that said, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out.